So I called around and AutoZone uh, was the only place around that had one in stock. It is a remanufactured. And um, I did have them test the old one. It did test bad. And uh, we are going to stick this one up in there. I'm going to start it up in there, plug this plug in, and uh, probably get these wires started, and then uh, get it up uh, in the spot, and put the two bolts in it. And it should go back together easier than it came off, since we've got that um, uh, manifold kind of dropped down, and gives us a lot more room to work. Alright, so I've got the, you can see I've got the uh, nut started, I've got the wires on, got the nut started. I just need to get my little stubby wrench in there and tighten that up. And then I will go ahead and tighten that little 10 millimeter bolt there. And then I put my starter bolts in. And I went ahead and plugged that one wire, the solenoid wire, in as well. There's just not much room in here to show y'all. It's up there. There it is. So it's plugged in. Got to tighten that up. And we'll get the rest of them in. Then we need to put the manifold back in place. Alright, so starter is bolted in, and I'll give you a little tip, that little, um, the plug-in wire, the little solenoid wire, um, it gets in the way of your wrench when you're tightening down that half inch bolt for the battery cable, so plug it in last, I ended up having to unplug it, and I got those started, and once I had the manifold out of the way, it was easy to uh, scoot the manifold towards the firewall, or not towards the firewall, towards the uh, uh, inner fender, and get in there and tighten that from up here. So this is not that bad of a job if you start out by removing the exhaust manifold and just letting it uh, hang out of the way and that gives you the clearance from underneath to get it out and that gives you an opening from up here to loosen the cables so um, not too bad so now I just need to get the exhaust manifold back into place and get the exhaust pipe connected back up underneath so I'm gonna work on that and it would be much easier if I had help to do that. I could have somebody up underneath uh, guiding it while I guide it up here. Um, I'm going to have to try to do it all and um, also uh, make sure I don't end up breaking the spark plug. So let me uh, see what I can do to get this thing back together. So here's my unorthodox way of doing this uh, by myself. Um, took some bubble wrap and shoved it between the head and the exhaust manifold to keep it away from the spark plugs so that uh, I could work underneath without worrying about uh, bumping the manifold and it falling over or twisting over and uh, breaking off a spark plug. So I got it like that, and then I went underneath, and of course I sprayed everything with penetrating oil. Let me turn the light on. So underneath here, I just started these, lined this up, put it into place, and just started those so that it's loose, but it's where it needs to be. Uh, I've just got a few threads on each one and that will allow me uh, the exhaust pipe to wiggle but stay in this uh, it's like a ball and socket here 
it allow it to stay in place and I can uh, bolt the manifold up. So when we go back up here, I can pull that bubble wrap out, put my gasket in place, and start my bolts. And I'll spray some penetrating oil on those. Alright, so that worked perfect. I've got all the manifold bolts started. I just need to go through and tighten them all up. And I've got the manifold gasket on. Make sure uh, there is an up and a down and a front and back on that. And the gasket itself is marked. It's got the manifold side marked and it's got down marked. So just make sure you get it on right. Um, so I've got it on right. And then um, we'll bolt the manifold up and go back under it once the manifold's bolted up. And finish snugging up those... Uh, exhaust bolts and uh, starters all bolted up uh, all the wires plugged into the starter so we're good there uh, once the exhaust is back together we can put the plug wires on I'm gonna put a little dielectric grease on the plug wires before I put them on and then just flip those back on and we've had our battery charging it should be charged up now and we'll see if this thing will start no, we gotta let it off the jack too. So, all right. So I'm tightening these bolts up, and then I did take off this little bracket here just to see if I could get a little flex out of those oil lines, but I could not, and so that did not help me. So you would not have to remove this I'll tighten that up and we'll tighten these up Like I'm gonna need both hands for this because it's it's turning too easy. So let me get busy on this. All right, it is tight and starters all good. See it up in there. Everything's tight. Everything's plugged in. Put that back. So, and you want to tighten these down evenly so that it clamps down uh, straight. You don't want it clamping down on one side uh, too much. And we've got, it's like all of our tools out. So I'm going to go back up top. We'll pull the jack stands out. Yeah. That's how much room I've got underneath. Uh, here's a spray bottle. Spray bottle will not fit under it. So, tight quarters. Up here, we're done. Just snap this cover back on. That, that was holding the hood up. Because the car is jacked up. It's lean. It's up in the top, up in the front. And causing it to uh, causing the hood to want to stay up. It's got these little standoffs this thing fits on. There. All good. 
I said the hood's not wanting to stay up. Let's just get the rest of our tools. And we'll let the hood shut. I'm not going to let it latch yet. So let me get the jack stands out. I need to connect the battery back. Um, I've had the charger on it for quite a while. I'm going to go ahead just to make sure I don't have any issue before I put it down. I'm just going to at least connect the battery back. Seems to be good. Tighten that clamp up. We're going to lift the car down. We'll see if it'll start up. All right. We've got this battery, I think, charged, and hopefully it came back to life. It was almost a brand new battery. It was pretty well. It was a brand new battery. All right. Started right up. Oh, got the radio. And that starter sounds so much better. That other one. Was awful. jacked up and check for any exhaust leaks. We'll check the manifold here. This thing has been about six months since it started up. Quiet. six months and then it battery went bad we put a new battery in it and then it sat for another six months because the starter was bad start but it was it was like it was a weak battery or it was the starter was dragging and uh, after starting probably half a dozen times um, it would not start and it was just dragging too much it, uh, the starter was dragging too much and then uh, then the starter smoked and you could smell it so We'd close this out. Gust of wind. I was about to go close it. So we are done. It is running and um, starter's good. Battery seems to be good. And we can close this up now. And 
close this and pull it back in. So, thanks for watching.